everyone. This is our 50th episode of Quantum Astrology and we want to thank all of you for your continued support and participation. Many of you have been with us since the beginning and shared the unfolding astrological journey. We're very happy you've joined us on this consciousness realm. Since September, we have been riding an avalanche of change and there is no letting up in sight. On November 1st, we experienced the fourth of six Uranus square Pluto aspects that continue to transform our personal, professional, and political lives. What is important to know is that we are all part of the process, even if we feel ourselves to be solely observers of the chaos. Those prompted to engage more directly in the breaking down of the old patriarchal system or in the establishment of a new world order should heed the callings of their soul. Those most directly affected have birthdays on or around December 31st, March 30th, July 1st, and October 3rd. The axis of needs versus desires is amplified by the solar eclipse at 11 Scorpio on November 3rd. We have already dealt with this energy in November 2012 and April and May of this year. For many people, there will be unequivocal relationship decisions. Does the individual in question advance my life purpose or hinder it? What is the emotional, financial, or psychological cost for staying in this relationship? Because Saturn, planet of commitment and consequences, is in close proximity, the stakes are high, as are the rewards of choosing the right partner. Likewise, business connections are also being forged or dissolved. If financial malfeasance is discovered, its root may extend far back into the mid-1980s, a full Saturn cycle. Because we are in the death cycle concerning our corrupted capitalist model, there will be news of bankruptcy, embezzlement, and other financial improprieties in the corporate world. Jupiter, the planet associated with largesse and luck, retrogrades on November 7th at 20 degrees Cancer. By and large, Jupiter in the sign of the home and family supports luck with real estate, and this has proven to be true in previous cycles. However, during the retrograde, which lasts through March 6th of 2014, we may temporarily see housing prices fall once again or residential deals stall. No worries, as once Jupiter turns direct in the spring, positive results and sales will resume. If Cancer is strong in your chart, or if Cancer rules your fourth house, you are especially blessed with excellent real estate karma next spring. On the 10th, Mercury turns direct in Scorpio, releasing us from the grip of the past. Scorpio has a Pieta or Demeter energy, so he may have taken a turn into the dark feminine and felt some very heavy emotions during the retrograde phase. The purpose was to release us from old pain body stories and memories of loss, so despite the edginess of this Mercury retrograde, it served a very clarifying and liberating purpose. Neptune also turns direct in Pisces after his five-month retrograde of inner dream work. Now, with the god of fantasy and inspiration in forward motion, we can turn our visions into reality. This is especially true with the grand water trine combination of Neptune in Pisces, Jupiter in Cancer, and Saturn in Scorpio. This is a rare and fertile transit in which we can create miracles, provided our emotions and feelings are in alignment with our personal truth. And as we approach the holiday season, much will have changed in our landscape from the previous year. In giving thanks, let us be grateful for the moment of now, from which we can draft the next chapter of our lives. We are the writers, time for a new storyline. And since we all share in the crafting of a new world, we hope you will continue to subscribe, share, rate, or comment on this video. The energy is going to happen, so you might as well enjoy the ride.